Anyone knows? Can anybody play harmonium following? Brenda Davy? Can you can you come this side? You can't? No? Oh, no, the Kishma. Yes, sir. One lip pipe. Pipe, pipe, like this. Oh, yes, sir, come here. There, there, there. there. You should go. Can someone get some chairs for our guest, please? It is okay. Don't disturb. You are happy here? Yeah. This is the mother of of uh, disciple of Kamal Krishna Maharaj. They are very good friends of mine from here. They're 70 years old. He's able to come to hear you. Not so hurry. More slow. Not so fast. Should we sing and then they sing? Yeah. In two sections. 
very easily that the Chaitanya Chaitamrita has come from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu really. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructed Rupa Goswami and Sarup Damodar. From Sarup Damodar it came in the heart of Sudaravna Das Goswami. And from him and from Rup Goswami it came to <coughs> Sri Krishna Das Kardyat Goswami. And he is writing. He has told like this. So essence of all the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is. <coughs> he is telling that <coughs> if you have no goal, and you are driving car or you are riding on any horse and you don't know where to go, then where you go? Hmm? Where you go? No goal? If you know your goal, that any how you can go, on foot, on horse, by car, any how you can go. But you are no no goal. So we must know what is the goal of life. What we want. And what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave and he came and he gave. This must be goal. Rupa Goswami has written in Ujjal in Mani and Bhakti Goswami is saying these goals. And here now he is also explaining that goal, what is goal. And knowing this goal, we should go towards it. And if you don't know your goal, where to go, for why I am going there, then endless. So you should not be endless. Now so there are so many devotees, but no aim. And if no, no end, then they will die. And they will do like this. You know one story, perhaps not no, that there was a boy and there was a girl. And marriage was fixed on very fixed date. And, oh, today in the evening all will go to marry that girl with bridegroom. They had a boat, boat was very with luxury boat. Very good boat. Good, good boat. Bridegroom and the father of bridegroom and so many yes. family family Members. all went in the boat. And whole night they will have to go on. Rowing. And uh, and next day in the morning they must reach there. In marriage marriage time was fixed in next morning at about eight. So they must reach there. The sellers, sellers, boatmen, boatmen, boatmen told that we can sell it whole night, but you have to pay something for our ganja bhang. Ganja bhang, you know? <laughs> ganja bhang? Like smoky. Like why? Oh, marijuana. Marijuana. marijuana pipe. Marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> and then I, we can do whole night. Uh, the father of that bridegroom agreed. And he paid so much thing that they buy from the market and they took it so overdose. Overdose. <laughs> And the bridegrooms, the party, whole party, gambling, 
he are there and taking some wine alcohol alcohol playing cards playing cards and doing merry here and there that eh? and some lady was dancing also uh, and and tabla you know thun thun <laughs> <laughs> it was doing and they are so making merry and they were going <laughs> the boat wala four person here and four person this side rowing Huh? Oarsman. Or rowing. 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 <laughs> and boat was very quickly running. Yes. Very swiftly. Whole night they were doing like so. Good weather. Huh? No, uh, very good weather. Uh, weather. And very good weather and they were doing so much labor. Mm. Oh, in the morning, the father of that bridegroom came out of that boat and he oh, went up. Oh, what is wonderful. I am saying that my son Vilesh and said coconut tree. tree there. We have returned. <laughs> I think that will have not gone anywhere. Gone anywhere. The boat is here. <laughs> they told no master. No sir. Man. So we soul whole night we have done <laughs> not taking any rest and in the mid time sometimes time to time we take ganja and found that <laughs> so that we are oh, you see that our from head to bottom or fresh sarkami we have never rested but i'm seeing the boat is here as this was why He looked towards the langa. Langa means anchor. Anchor. Oh, anchor was not taken up. <laughs> For God. For God. Because they have taken so much. Kajaban. And that is why they were doing so much love and whole night. But the boat was sent like circling. <laughs> no and no object. <laughs> no goal. No goal. They have not taken that thing, so we must have some goal, and there should be no attachment. What the attachment? This is langar. Langar means anchor. 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 If you are attached to worldly these things, anything, even to your dog, opposite to God, you should not be attached to dogs. Animal, you can fulfill your duty to your wife, children, husband, no. Like they are all servant of Krishna, we should help. But don't we? What? Attached. Attached. And this is called anger. 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 One should not anger with these things. And no goal. <laughs> so we must know our goal and take up this anger. Anger. And very soon you will reach there to your goal. So what is goal? We should know. I know that there are so many devotees right? chanting, 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 and at last falling down, falling down to help. No more. Only book distributing, and others will not take. Making temples so high, high, and if you have no goal, then what will they do? Oh, you will be attached with wealth and two W more. Why not wealth? Yes. Wealth, women, and wine. Oh, it is mm, surely that it will be that. So, if you have some goal, and you are going in the guidance of any experienced hand, tutor, that is spiritual master, and he should be like very qualified, then very easily we can go to that goal. And that goal, he is telling, what is that goal? I am going to describe. So Krishna, after Krishna, past time of Dwapar Lila, when it was completed, and he took his whole Golok Bindavan to that there, and he was what? He ended uh, that past Lila. He of his past times. Uh, then. He was thinking for long time. 
since long time. I have not given Braja Prem to anyone. I must give. And what is that breath Prem he is telling? And this is the goal. What is that breath Prem? I am so much beautiful in the whole world. Not in the only whole world. And Golok Vrindavan Ajodhya in the whole Vaikuntha. Vaikuntha means? Spiritual is God. I am most beautiful. There is none beautiful like me. Unparalleled beautiful. There is no anyone like me. Huh? I'm so sweet. I'm so soft. Hmm? I'm full of all spiritual or transcendental qualities. There is no one equal to me hmm? in whole world. But I see that anyone in this world, if they serve me and see my this transcendental body, oh, I'm playing on float, smiling, then all will be charmed. All are charmed to me. Even deers, animals, peacocks, parrots, parrot, all what to tell human body. All are charm. There is none that who can charm me. Only there is one. And who is she? Srimati Radhika. More beautiful, more sweet, having all qualities more than me. Anyone can love me. And anyone can see me and he will be pleased. But when I see Shmati Radhika, I take darshan of Radhika, I am charmed, I become mad. So she is my Radhika Prem Guru. Have you that book? Yes. Radhika Prem Guru Ami Shishya Nata Sada Ama Nana Nitya Nachaya Udbhata Radhika Prem Amar Karai Unmatta Najani Radhar Preme Ache Koto Bolo, Je Bole Amaki Kore Sharpa Dabi Bolo. 122 to 24. You should read the explanation of himself, Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj, my Shiksha Guru. I always follow him. Krishna is speaking. He said, I am the full spiritual truth. And I'm made of full joy, but the love of Shrimati Radharani drives me mad. I do not know the strength of Radha's love, with which she always overwhelms me. The love of Radhika is my teacher. The love of Radhika is my teacher, and I am her dancing pupil. Her praying makes me dance various novel dances. So Krishna is telling that I am disciple. And Srimati Radhika is my guru. Of what thing he is guru? Love and affection. Krishna has so much love and affection, he is Osana Parasha. Hmm? But from where it comes? From his guru. And who is guru? Srimati Radhika. He admits himself. So no question. Hmm? So Srimati Radhika is Prem Guru. So there is love and affection more than Srimati Radhika. That is why he she controls Krishna. So we should know that our aim and object of that love and affection which is in Radhika, by which she controls Krishna. So that is our goal. How to have that principle? Then we should make a way. a way how we can have this. If you are not discussing all these things, distributing worldly books, what will it do? Oh, money will come and you will keep 75 percent and only 25 percent you deposit and after that when some money will be there, then quickly run away with this money and give it more all whole Krishna consciousness. I know that 
this is going on. This is the problem now. So if you will know all these things, you will be so very strong. And anyone or at any time you cannot be. What? Your way will be very. <coughs> Never be detailed. Very With clear. Clear. So we must know all these things. But someone tells them, oh, we have no uh, qualification to hear all this, bogus persons. And that is why they are falling down. They must know all these things. What is our goal? And then gradually they will go on the way, actual way, shown by Maharyan, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, all our disciplic orders, Guru. So we must follow this. If you are not following, what you are doing? Hmm? Nothing. Hmm? One day you will have to. You are falling, what to fall? Those who are fa fa falling down, they were never pure Vaishnava. Hmm? They were falling down, but in the eyes of bogus persons, they were, they were like pure devotee. <laughs> never, never they were pure devotee. Any pure devotee never falls. So they would never fall. He was naked, always. Hmm? And he, there was no difference between lady and gent, male and female in his eyes. Hmm? Always seeing the beauty of Radha and Krishna conjugal and totally absorbed, like unmad grasta person, like mad person. This is our goal. Hmm? We should follow Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami. How? Shankha purvakanam gannati vi kalavasani kridau nidrahar vihar kadhishtau atanta dino chujau radha krishna gunasmate madarimande nishammohitau bande rupsana. Oh, this is the way. Premananda, Prema? What? Prema? Premunmad. Premunmad. This is our goal. And the way? Shankhya Purvaknam Gan Natihi Kala Vasani. These are. This is that way. And our aim and object that frame. In that frame they were always like mad person. This is our aim and this is our way. We should thoroughly know this. Very strongly. And then you cannot be shaken. Here and there. And then straight going. Whether it may be that, oh, you are weak, but gradually you go there. Because you have fixed your aim and object of our life. Then sadhan will come. You know sadhan? What is the meaning of sadhan? By which we can achieve our goal. Then sadhan bhakti will come. Then two kinds of sadhan bhakti. What? Vaidhi bhakti. Then we always pray, Raganuga Guru Bharga Ki Jai. Why you tell? Rupanuga. You should not tell all these things. Rupanuga Guru Bharga? Those who are following Rupa Goswami, practically they are Rupanuga. Hmm? What? Who was, who, who was Rupa Goswami? He was full of love and he was a gopi of Braja, Rupa Manjari. He used to serve Radha Krishna conjugal in such a way that Lalta has, uh, uh, Lalta um, was to wait and to ask her, Oh, what Radha and Krishna conjugal are doing? Hmm? And then she used to tell, Oh, now you can come. Oh, now you cannot come. You should be out. So how high class of devotion? Hmm? That is it. So you have read three? No. Okay, oh, so you should go on. That was up to, I've read up to twenty-four. Twenty-four? This is Radhikara Prema Guru. Huh? And not twenty-two? Uh, Hundred twenty-two? I think the numbers may be different here. Twenty-four is Radhikara Prema Guru and Amisha Shana. Huh? Hundred and twenty-four in this book. But it is okay. Uh, okay. So twenty-two from? Hmm. I've read from Purnananda Maya Amish and Maya Purana Tattva. No. This one? Uh, Purna Tattva. Radhikar Preme Amar Karai Unumatta. Yes. Yes. I am the full spiritual truth. 
and am made of full joy, but the love of Shrimati Radharani drives me mad. Who becomes mad? So Krishna. Krishna. Krishna became mad. Disciple becomes mad. <coughs> Radhika is guru. His prem is man object, highest object. So she be, Krishna becomes unmatta like mad. Hmm. Then go on. I do not know the strength of Radha's love with which he always overwhelms me. Oh, he wants to realize this thing. And for this he has come, descended from Golopinda. To know. Hmm? Uh, how Rashimati Radhika controls my heart? Hmm? To know this thing. He, he wanted to come to this world, descend to Krishna. How highest love of Radhika is there? Hmm? Then, Kashma Atapande, uh, you should read the meaning. Yes. <coughs> oh, my beloved friend Vrinda, where are you coming from? Who is asking? No, Krishna is asking. Krishna is asking. Go on. Oh, my beloved friend Vrinda, where are you coming from? I am coming from the feet of Sri Hari. Oh, yes. Sir. Yes, yes. Go on. Srimati Radhika is asking Brinda Devi, hmm. Oh my beloved friend Brinda, where are you coming from? Hmm. Brinda Devi replies, I am coming from the feet of Sri Hari. Shimati Radhika Who is Sri Hari? Krishna himself. Srimati Radhika replies, Oh, where is he? Brinda Devi says, In the forest on the bank of Radha Kund. Hmm. And what is he doing there? He is learning dancing. Oh. oh, and who is his master? Hmm. Brinda Devi replies, Your image, Radha, revealing itself in every tree and creeper, in every direction, is roaming like a skillful dancer, making him dance behind. Hmm. That is, Krishna is became unmatta. He see everywhere, Radhe, Radhe, Radhe. Hmm. If the lips of trees were, were shaking, <coughs> then he said, Oh, Srimati Radha is there. So he is learning this dance from Srimati Radhika. So the meaning is that the Krishna is a student, like eh, disciple of Srimati Radhika. Why? Because he knows something, what that thing, love and affection. That love and affection is not in Krishna, so he wants to learn this thing. And that is why the, there are three modes of Radhika. Radhaya prane mahima kidrisho va neiva. Asvadva jena dhot madhurima kidrisho va madhiya. Sokhan chasya madan bhavata kidrisho vetti lobha. Tad bhavata samajani sachi garva sindhu varindhu. Krishna is thinking. Hmm? Radhaya prane mahima. It will be explained further. So, yes, sir, go here. More nija prema swade more hai je Allah. He is telling that anyone serving me because I am portion of rush. So if anyone goes to me and tests me, he becomes so happy. Excessive ananda he receives. But But to see me, enjoying me, see Radha becomes koti koti gun means crore style. Ten million times. Simati Radhika becomes happy. Krishna takes darshan of Radhika, he becomes so happy. But Srimati Radhika seeing Krishna, becomes she becomes how much happy? Unlimited. Unlimited. More than unlimited, more than Krishna. Why? I, why I don't have so excessive pleasure that Radhika experience? Ex experience. No? What? Yes, experience. Yes. 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 
Why I'm not going? I'm so sweet. I have four kinds of special madhuri which is not even in Ram, in Narayan, in Dvarkadhish or anywhere. And what are they? Venu Madhuri. More loudly. Venu Madhuri, the beauty of his flute singing. More, more loud. Louder, please. Krishna plays a flute. This is called Venu Madhuri, the uh-huh. sweetness of his flute singing. Uh-huh. And Rupa Madhuri, his Shalva Tribanga Lalita, his very beautiful, graceful, blackish, uh, threefold bending form, his unprecedentedly beautiful. Uh-huh. And uh, Prema Madhuri, uh-huh. he's enjoying uh, very uh, beautiful, loving uh, re- exchanges with his devotees. Uh-huh. And Leela Madhuri, his pastimes are unparalleled. Srimati Radhika tastes more than anyone. And she became like mad. So what are my dad's four madhuris? That Radhika tastes all these things. And what kind of anand she receives? What? Happiness. Happiness. What is, what is that thing? I want to realize. But I cannot realize because I have no so much such love as Srimati Radhika has. If you are reading in primary school, can you understand the philosophy and all these things? Who is reading in MA? You can. So if any very, very high class of professor is giving lecture and he realize any class a student may understand and he will be very happy. And hearing that lecture, any primary student will be happy? They will think of us. He will not understand all this. So Krishna is not understanding how beautiful I am and what is the love and affection of Srimati Radhika. So if I will have that kind of love and affection in me, that is Mahabhav, more than that, Adurud Mahabhav, more than that, Mohan and Modan and more than that, Madan. Srimati Radhika has that. Krishna has not that. Even Lalita Vishaka has not that always. So if I will borrow are still this mode of Radhika, then I can Experience. realize. So I should serve Radhika, my Gurudev, a friend, and then anyhow and by any skill Trick. I can take that mode, and then I will realize. This is the object. So we must know that object. We cannot take all these things, but we can take the beauty of that love and affection. Hmm? We can take. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mercifully came to this world to give this type of Braja Prema. Hmm? I think that those, those who are distributing this Chaitanya Chaitanya to all, but not reading. What will be of them? Can they realize all these things? Samiji has written anywhere that you should only sell these books and distribute books and don't read. I think that he has told first that you should read book. Not only you, but listen, hear from any bona fide guru these things and then you can distribute. Otherwise only distributing. Oh, anyone take it and it will throw, <coughs> throw it in a stool or Garden. bathroom. Garden. Bathroom. So many books has been found from bathroom and garbage bin. Eh? Garbage bin. Garbage bin. <laughs> what is the use of that? In India, those who don't know, they will buy this book. Only to sell their spices, spices, spices. to make some th- paper, paper, bag. Paper, bag. Paper, bag. paper bag. Paper bag. What is the use? This. 
So, Swami has told that you should read this book <coughs> in the guidance of an is very bona fide. Bona fide. <coughs> and then you will know that this is the aim and object, this Brajaprem. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Malli came to Nishpanko this mercy. And then, if you have great to have this, then you should find the way how we can go. And then come to Shadhan. And where you get the Shadhan? Any bona fide guru who has practiced, who has realized something. Those gurus who have not realized, not practiced, what they can do? How can they show the path? Never they can. Empty gun. <laughs> Empty gun means? Loose cannon, loose cannon. Shooting blanks. Blank fire. Blank fire. Blank fire. Blank fire. Blank fire. It will not shoot anyone, not an animal, and not to anyone. False. What? Loose cannon. Loose cannon. Play gun. So, we should try to know all these things and go to very bona fide guru. Krishna is telling, come to 238. <coughs> Krishna is telling himself, Purunananda Rasasvarup sabe kahe more. Amahaite anandita hai tribhone, amake anandita aiche kono jan. Amahaite jar hai sasat gun, se jar nahaladite pare mormana. You should read the meaning. <coughs> Once, Lord Krishna considered within his heart. Try to listen very patiently, very deeply. Then you can have some greed, little. And then you will know your real, what is your real object. And then, what is the way? How you can practice? Ah, go on. Once, Lord Krishna considered within his heart. Everyone says that I am complete bliss full of all rasas. All the world derives pleasure from me. Is there anyone who can give me pleasure? One who has a hundred times more qualities than me could give pleasure to my mind. Mm. Go on. One more qualified than me is impossible to find in the world. Mm. But in Radha alone I feel the presence of one who can give me pleasure. And go on. Although my beauty defeats the beauty of ten million cupids, although it is unequaled and unsurpassed, and although it gives pleasure to the three worlds, seeing Radharani gives pleasure to my eyes. Yes. The vibration of my transcendental flute attracts the three worlds. Who is translating this? Who translation is this? Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami. Himself has wrote, written? Yes. So it is bona fide. Like Himalayas mountain, it will never be like this. Anyone cannot what deny this, deny not move this. I am not telling anything else. What he is telling, I am going to admit all totally. So you must know that I am in his line, and those who are not following this thing, they are not in his line. Never there. So you should not be. Misguided. The vibration of my transcendental flute attracts the three worlds, but my ears are enchanted by the sweet words of Srimati Radharani. Hmm. Even he uh, forgets to play, play on fruit and looking and looking and singing and become like mad. <laughs> the sweet words of Radhika. Hmm. So how she is sweet. Krishna is so sweet. Hmm? That animals can be charmed and all, oh, but Krishna Himself is charmed by the sweet words of Sri Mati Radhika. Hmm? Oh. Although my body lends fragrance to the entire creation, the scent of Radharani's limbs captivates my mind and heart. Although the entire creation is full of different tastes because of me, I am charmed by the nectarine taste of the lips of Shri Mati Radharani. 
And although my touch is cooler than ten million moons, I am refreshed by the touch of Srimati Radhika. Mm. Thus, although I am the source for the happiness of the entire world, the beauty and attributes of Sri Radhika are my life and soul. Nan 261. Considering this, I can understand that some unknown mellow in me controls the entire existence of my captivator, Srimati Radharani. Yes. I am always eager to taste the joy that Radharani derives from me. In spite of various efforts, I, ha I have not been able to taste it, mm. but my desire to relish that pleasure increases as I smell its sweetness. Mm. Go on. I have appeared in the world to taste mellows. I shall taste the mellows of pure love in various ways. Uh, this is the main reason that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came. What? You should go on again. I have appeared in the world to taste mellows. Rasa Asvadite. Mm, yes. I shall taste the mellows of pure love in various ways. Mm. I shall teach devotional service which springs from spontaneous love, Raga Mark, yes. of the devotees by demonstrating it myself oh, with this my is way. Hmm? What is goal? Radha Prem and love to Krishna, this is goal. Hmm? And the beauty of that Prem is our goal. Hmm? To serve Radha and Krishna, conjugal, this is our goal. And what is way? Not by the bhakti. Hmm? Not given by any achar this. Only Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Prem. And he? Ragmar. What is Ragmar? Rag is object and the rag marg is <coughs> process. So this most this process should be taken to understand to have this prem prem go prem. Otherwise we can. Don't be misguided by anyone. The mental that oh he is this are sahajiya. Then Brahma was sahajiya, Nard was sahajiya, Swami was most sahajiya. <laughs> Then why they follow? Hmm? I know that he was following totally hmm? this Radmar. So he was not Sahajiya. But the foolish persons, they told like this, bogus person, you should not be misguided by them. Try to make your life successful by adopting all these theories. Hmm? If anyone tells, hmm? You should cut, cut their argument. And you should tell them, now oh, let us see you read the explanation of your Gurudev. But I think that you are not disciple. And that is why you are not accepting all these things. So you should be very strong. Go on. I should teach devotional service which springs from Ragamart, spontaneous love, by demonstrating it myself with my pastimes. But these three desires have not been satisfied, for one cannot <coughs> enjoy them in a contrary position. Mm. Unless I accept the luster of the ecstatic love of Sri Radhika, these three desires cannot be fulfilled. Yes. Therefore, assuming Radharani's sentiments and bodily complexion, I shall descend to fulfill these three desires. Mm. In this way, Lord Krishna came to a decision. Simultaneously, the time came for the incarnation of the age. So, that Rag in gopis, especially in Radha Gopi, is highest thing. This is the thing which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to test. And what he wanted to be? How to achieve this Rag Marga? So we should know that what was that Rag Marga? The way by which this rag can, this love and affection can be achieved. So now it is distant. Our goal is to be the servant, maid servant of Radhika. And what is the way? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught it to Rupa Goswami, and Rupa Goswami has written, written in Bhakti Goswami Sindhu and his old books. We should try to attend all these things throw a very qualified guru. Hmm? Try to have that guru who is realized. 
we chanting and weeping nanang galadasu dharaya badanam gadagadaru pulakar nishtam bapu kada to nama garani bhavishyati e pemman chanting name and not tears coming not heart melting that we should know that there are so many heavies offenses offenses so we should try to do oh what continuous name and serving one of our guru so what is the last essence of the rup goshami teaching sannam rup charita ji sukritana nanda krame sarana manasi yojya tishan prade tadanga ji jana dugami ಕಾಲಾಂಗೇ so you should know all these things and make your goal of life and try to choose your your way by this if any doubt any question you can ask me if any doubt any question you should be sincere and come to me i will try to help you sincerely without any gain i want i come and ordered by swami ji himself that go and help the needy persons though are sincere no so shri gurudev has ordered me to explain something of the eighth verse of the Upadesha Vritam of Srila Rupa Goswami Pad. Tannama Rupa Taritari Sukirtanano Smrityokra Meno Rasanam Anasim Yodhya Tishtam Raja Tanano Ragi Tanano Gami Kalam Nayad Akilamit Tripadesha Saram Here, Srila Rupa Goswami is giving Upadesha Saram the essence of all advice. What is that? The essence of all advice is that one should constantly chant the divine name form qualities and pastimes of krishna one should gradually engage the tongue and the mind in becoming completely absorbed in krishna's name form qualities and pastimes and tishtam braje one should reside in braj physically one should reside in braj if that is not possible at least by mind one should reside in braj tishtam braje Tadanuragi Jananugami So here Sri Rupa Goswami Pad is explaining that Tadanuragi Jana The Anuragi Jana means the associates of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna in Vrindavan that you will have to do Anugami you will have to follow in their footsteps under the guidance of a Braj Rasik Tadvavit Vaishnav This is the essence of all the advice of Sri Rupa Goswami Pad. What are the what is the first shlok of Upadesha Amritam? Nectar of instruction. instruction. First shlok. Come on, stand up. Stand up. You should know and try to follow this shlok and don't do pranam amalli. Don't waste time. वेगन फ्रॉम इस बात सो वेगन मांस क्रोध वेगन तुझे हार वेगन उधर लो फस्ते वेगन ये ताने वेगन में ओवर सी हेट दी डोंट सेक योर लेग्स बी स्ट्रेट दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट वर्स ऑफ़ कुबे द शावरत श्रीमान पंडित ब्रह्म इज़ एक्सप्लेन एक्सप्लेन द एट इन दिस फर्स्ट वर्स श्रील रूपों का स्वाइन पार इज़ एक्सप्लेन दैट इन � And to be qualified as a guru, one must first vasovik and control the urge to speak. 
Vajra means Vajra means speech. And Vega means to control. Vega means not control. The urge. The urge. The urge. The urge. So Vajra so Vega means the, the urge and Vajra means speech. So Vajra Vega Manasa means the mind, to control the mind. Krodha Vega means the, the urges or the when anger comes, once you learn to once you learn to control anger. Jiva Vega means to control the tongue and the tongue's desire to taste things in this world. Udaro Pasta Vega, Sri Guru explains it, the tongue, the belly and the genitals are in a straight line and when pressure is put upon the tongue, it, one relieves it by filling the belly and one relieves the belly by, when, when one satisfies the belly, then one relieves that by, by satisfying the genitals. So, so Rupa Goswami Pada is explaining that once you control the urge to speak, the minds, the manners, the actions of anger, and the urges of the tongue, the belly, and the genitals. And by doing so, one will then be qualified to make disciples all around the world. You know that this tongue has no backbone. No backbone. And she can go here, there, up, down, everywhere she can go. So if you are not controlling, then it will make so much big problem. In India, or in world, there are so many wars, big wars, like Great War. Great war like Mahabharata. Why it became? Because Draupadi told that, oh, you are the son of un blind, blind and you father, are also blind. 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 blind father, blind son. Blind father, blind father, son. Blind and she became ang he became anger and he told that, oh, I will make you naked. And I will take revenge. And thus Mahabharata went on. So, you should try to what controlled you. <coughs> Otherwise, by this, anger will come. It is very hard. It, you can make control of air. How? You know? For a second, can you? Oh, do like this. Also this. This, this. Stop. Any moment you will die. Hmm? But rishis can control this, but they cannot do control mind, never. Oh, mind here, there, in dream, where, going, and doing so many nonsense things. So if you are not controlling mind, then anger is bound to come. So control your tongue, then con control your mind, and then control. But how c you can control? Never you can if you are always chanting, remembering Krishna, eh? under the guidance of a very qualified guru, then it may be controlled. Otherwise not. <coughs> Tarut Goswami is telling, or be in Vandavan, in Shebakun, or Bansi Bhatt, or in Nandagam, Barshana, there, in Radha Kund, in Shantan. Being the guidance of a very qualified Rashik and Tattagya Guru. And being Vrindavan. And if you cannot be in Vrindavan anyhow, then by mind you should be hmm? in Vrindavan. And chant. What name? Radha Damod, Radha Govinda, Gopinath, Madan Mohan, Shyam Sundar, Radha Raman, these names. Not like Brahma, Paramatma, Paramatma. Brahma, 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 it will not do. <laughs> Paramatma will not do. Jagannath. Jagannath also will not do. Hmm? But Vrajandananda, Shamsundar, he can control in a moment if you are um, chanting him in the guidance of being in Vrindavan. Hmm? Then you can control all, otherwise no. What is the second shloka now in Brahmacharya? Atyahara <laughs> Oh, you should try to know all these things. If you want to advance, you should know all these. At least meanings, you should know. And try to do like that. You cannot control yourself. 
your Gurudev may help and then you can control by chanting and remembering. So Rupa Sami is explaining, Rupa Sami is explaining here that if you adopt this sixth theory then your all devotion will destroy. What is this sixth? Attahara means over eating. Over eating only not for by eating by mouth. We have five senses requiring knowledge. Eyes, ear, nose, tongue and Skin. Skin. Touch. Touch. Six, five, six senses. Six. And the king of all senses is mind. So, by the senses, by beauty, that means by sense of acquiring knowledge, acquiring knowledge of beauty, that means eye. By this eyes, butterfly and others, they sing fire and they jumped over fire, they spoiled their life. Ross. Understand? No. Mm. What he told? Yes, in the jungle fire. <coughs> they go to the light. There are so many insects. No. Sing what fire. He huh? says, but he, says, yes, he says that flies, they are attracted to the light of the fire and they fly into the fire and they are... By eyes. eyes. Yeah. Through eyes. Now, ras, ras means tongue. You can see, in ocean there are so many fishermen, they use some stick and there is some rope and make... And on the end of the rope there is an iron hook. Bait. And they put a bait on it. And they put something and throw in the ocean. After that fish, swallow it. And they take out that fish from water. So if they have taste, they have greed for that bed. bed. So they spoil the life due to their tongue. Rub, ras, gandha. Gandha means we can smell by our nose. So if you keep any honey in any jar, then ant will come and think, oh, I want to test, but he was so greedy, he attached with honey and he could not come out. So he Drum. spoiled his life. Ras Ganda Sparsa. You know about elephant. They like so much to touch the sea elephant. So even you want, want to control elephant, at first he sent one sea elephant towards forest, and there is some system on trap, they made one big, big, big hole, they covered it, and the sea elephant, they will come together, and when that mad elephant or he elephant will come to near the dig, then she will push him back, and she fell down on the dig. Later on, the master sent that sea elephant again, and take him that, from that big one. What you understood, what he told? He says, uh, you setting a trap. Uh, you should tell me. In easy language. Yeah. It's one thing. Uh. You, you, you. Loudly? And naughty. Very loudly you should tell me. Like thunder. Naveen hmm. Prabhu is saying that when the hunter sets a trap, that he will dig a big hole and he will set a she-elephant there, and the male elephant will be attracted by the she-elephant, and then the she-elephant will maneuver the male elephant into that hole. And she push. She pushes him into that and, hole. And she goes down. And fell down after the letter on the master, saying again that she-elephant, and she changed uh, that he-elephant, and bring him back, then he controlled that elephant. So elephant, he controlled by their touch, Touch, touching what? Your sense of touch. Sense of sense touch. Of and sabda means sound. <laughs> In ancient time, there was no gun, only arrow, bow and arrow. For hunter, they used to go jungle and dig little hole and put, uh, put one stick. That if you suck it, it will go fell down. And plain fruit, very sweet fruit, sing the sweet sound. Deer came nearer to the hunter, and he was so absorbed to hearing that sweet sound, then he wants some shelter. 
Then he takes shelter of that stick, and stick was not so fixed, so they fell down. Oh, what you understood? What he told? You should tell. What he told? The hunter sets one stick up and puts fruit, and then there comes, takes fruit, moves stick. And then one trap comes and traps there. No, no. no, no. no, no. That is why I know, I want to know. A flute. No. Uh, you should uh, tell what he wants to tell. Clear language. Uh, clear language. His language is not clear. The fruit. Fruit. Uh, you should tell. Venom. Uh, Shimana Vimpa is saying that a hunter takes a stick and he sets a stick in the ground so that it's, it's, not, it's, not, um, it's not fixed and it easily falls over. And then the hunter will call a deer with a flute, the beautiful sound of a flute, and a deer will come listening to the flute. And then, listening to the flute, the deer will lean on the stick, yes. and the stick will fall over, and the deer will also fall over. And then he will easily come. But his left uh, hind leg could not move so easily, so hunter came and beat him and catch him. So there are five animals. Always. Yeah. When yeah. Gone, gone, gone. There are five animals. They spoil their life only for one one senses. But human beings have the five senses so strong. So if you will not be careful, then you have to spoil our life every step. That means we will be divisive, derived from devotion. So this is alp atyahar. Hmm. This is meaning of atyahar. Then second, quickly. Atyahar prayasascha. Prayas means over endeavor. So which our guru vargas? Our spiritual hierarchy shows us, showed us the path. We shall follow that path. If we discover new, new path and want to go through that path, then in every step, in every moment, we can fall down, derail from that way. So we should not do over and over, which our Guru Varga spiritual hierarchy discovered and they practice that way, we shall adopt that thing, not adopt that this. Then we will be derailed from devotion life. So it is called prayas. Prajalpa. Prajalpa means mundane talking. So we should not be attached with mundane talking. Also joking. All are in this. Except the Krishna Katha. Everything is mundane. Hmm. So except Krishna Katha, all are, are prajalpa. And now Niyamagraha. Niyamagraha means there are two things, one is called Niyamagraha, another is called Niyamagraha. Niyamagraha means that there is some rule and regulation how we can achieve the Krishna plane. But we are not a fixed our goal to how we can achieve our Krishna plane. We have so much attraction for only this rule and regulation. But rule and regulation denote whom we don't care for that. It is called Niyamagraha. And Niyamagraha, okay, go on. Go on. Niyamagraha, there is some rule and regulation, but we are unable to adopt the rule and regulation, it is called Niyamagraha. So, Nijapadapa Niyamagraha. So, we should not be too much attracted at for rule and regulation. One minute. One minute. What he told you? Niyamagraha means? Uh, one way is too much enthusiasm for following the regulations, and the other one is Nyama uh, Hagla, uh, is to be uh, uh, neglect, 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 what you understood? I want that clear explanation should come. What? Nyama Hagla, that one follows the rules and regulations of devotional service, but he does not really has a goal. He only thinks, I have to follow the rules. And he is so much absorbed in that, that he is always worried how to follow the rules and regulations. Can you give any example for this? Just like in Chatur Master, this mention we should not cut our nail and we should not save. But I am serving Guru Dev and serving deities. But if we not cut our nail, then so many that it will be nailed, that it will be seva apara. So who is Guru Seva and all Sipa of deities? They have to be careful. They always must be neat and clean. If there is any dart in, inside nail, then it will be seva apara. Uh, like this, very easy thing. 
we must obey Gurudev. No? You know. But uh, when you are worshipping, don't speak anything. Don't walk if you are worshipping. Don't go to pranam anyone. But at that time, when you are worshipping, in the mid-time your Gurudev came. What should we do? We should worship or we should stop worshipping and come and do pranam to Gurudev. What we should do? We should if you are observing that we should not come out, then it is offense. So this is niyamagraha. Niyama agraha. This is not good. So we should pay respect to more advanced devotees stopping our archan because our archan is not pure. And to serve Gurudev and any highest high class of devotees is more essential. So we should not be niyamagraha. And what is niyamagraha? Oh, we are not. We can follow. We can chant one time, two time, not time. Because sometimes no, no. small call. Uh, no harm. What is taking, if you are taking cigarette or not? Uh, it is not related to Atma. <laughs> so these are niyam agraha, not following. So we should try to follow all these things. If you are not following, sit down. Then, oh, you cannot go to your way. These are not way. But these are whereabouts of where. Where is the way? Directions. And connection it will give. So be careful for all these things. And then six Principles. qualities by which adopting we can know these things. What is? Utsaha, Nishya, Dharya, Tattatan Pravartha. What is? Can you explain? No. Who can explain? Kundari, uh, <coughs> yes, Odesh. Come on. All Brahmacharis and Grihas Bhats, they should try to remember this all is slow. If not remember the meaning of this, they should know and try to follow exactly. Then a real path will come. Utsahat. 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 Nishyat. Dhyat. Tat. Tat. Karma. Pravartanat. Sangat. Tyaga. Satubriti. Shadavir. Bhakti. Prasidhyati. In this verse, we have heard from Srila Gurudev and Vaishnavas. The explanation is, Utsah means enthusiasm. And in the commentary also of this verse, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Shasuri Thakur is explaining that enthusiasm in devotional service means that we have to follow certain limbs of bhakti. But while doing so, we go through so many obstacles and impediments. In so many ways, sometimes bodily sickness, Sometimes so many circumstances are there that it's difficult for us to follow. But at those times, if our desire and our pursuit to accomplish those activities of bhakti is not slackened even a bit, you may not be able to do it externally, but at least if that strong desire is there, and as soon as we get next opportunity and favorable circumstance, we do that, then that is called utsah. In other words, that we should not be demotivated or uh, we should not become discouraged. discouraged by any impediments and obstacles which come on the path of bhakti. This is utsahat. Utsahat no. Utsahat. Nishtrat means determination, strong determination. What is that strong, strong determination? Having full faith in the words of Srila Gurudev, Bonafide spiritual master, having full faith in the words of Shastras. And what is that? Krishna Bhakti Kaile 
sarva karma krit hoy if i do unconditional pure devotional service to lord shri krishna then all other activities will be taken care of no. i don't need to perform any other no. activities not this oh i'm doing bhakti gone ye sutra is sunne payenge oh we are exercising bhakti rules and regulation shamadam kirtan hmm? we must have known know this we should determine determine that i will have krishna prem see you surely by practicing this surely i will have i will attain nischaya hmm? so this is conclusion that i will by going those way bhakti shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam i will surely attain krishna prem this is nischaya tarsat karma pravartana harjya dharya this means having patience and tolerance it may be that since the process of bhakti is time taking process for those who are very much conditioned and engrossed in the material Some mode obstacles may come no harm and it is delaying no harm go on go on and go. that may delay our achievement of our goal but still we should have patience and keep following because we have understood that this is the real bona fide process and because it's my weakness that i am not able to realize the real fruit of krishna consciousness or i am not able to feel that love but if i keep following in the proper association and in the right guidance then certainly i will definitely achieve my goal and that is krishna prem this is dharya then sangat tyaga tat tat karma pravartana tat tat karma pravartana means again that all those three activities which we heard that applies to all the activities of bhakti all the activity means all the rules and regulations and by we are associating with devotees then in so many ways we are interacting with devotees and also uh towards the deities we are performing so many worship so all those chanting all uh, the nine uh, nine types of bhakti shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam then all in these activities we should be enthusiastic we should be determined about this and we should have patience that by following these things we will definitely achieve our goal which is krishna prem tatkan pravartana sangate 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 yoga means that we should definitely try to give up or surely give up whatever is unfavorable association that also means that association of impersonalists those who do not believe in the form of god those who are atheistic people we should who are who are weak shaking faith all these things and also those who are too much attached to material sense enjoyment this is all very deteriorating to our devotional service so we should try to give up the association of these people sato prete and how we should live our life if we are grasthas what what word sato vritti sato vritti sato vritti so what is the meaning of sato vritti those who are sat and what they are doing this vritti this mood how we should maintain our life if we are sanyasi then what we should do well we begging something like rup sanatan we should do follow that vritti not making so many factories so factory and all other factories going here and there making money in these processes you should do but if you are family man you can adopt the process of shrinivas acharya dvaita acharya pandavas you can have but if you are sanyasi brahmachari then don't follow all these things you should try to follow rup sanatan goswami jiv goswami like vishwanath chakravarti thakur narottam thakur like shri prabhupad like this like swami ji for like our guru dev like me you should try to follow if you are renounced <coughs> and if you are grihastha then don't be attached and you should follow pandavas 
are the grihast bhakta of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is Satyavarti. Once a, a devotee, he was pure devotee, and he was grihastha, and he was uh, managing so many factories of cotton, mm -hmm. making so many beautiful cloths. cloths. But he left his all property for his sons and he was renounced and he took sannyas with Swamiji. You know Swamiji? Bhaktivedanta Muni Maharaj. Muni Maharaj. And that with Swamiji. He came to Math and he began to be reside there. Once he told to Gurudev, Oh, here I don't want that all brahmacharis should go to bake door to door. I want to make some factories of so some I know the, how to make money. How to make uh, Factory. factories of cloth oh. making Hand very factory. easily, hmm? and so they can earn so much money from this, and they can easily maintain there. easily their life, and they will have not to go to beg here and there, because some persons they abuse them, sometimes insult them. Ah, oh, I cannot see. Guru Maharaj told, oh, never do, be far away. Hmm? I want that they should go and they should be insulted and they should be humble. humble. Trinadapi <laughs> Sunnish, this is for this. Or oh, we have not come to uh, maintain our life very easily like uh, bhogis and bishais. Sons and hmm? So just, I don't want. They should go door to door and they should Wait, what? Oh, you should chant Krishna. You should chant them. They should tell Harikatha. They should be abused and they, said they, should, they should be humble. And thus they will conquer all these things. Hmm? Then fourth is Dadati, Prana, Pratigrahnati, Gojyam Akhyati, Vichyati, Vichyati, Bhute, Bhojate, Chaiva, Shadavidham, Kuti Lakshan. You should explain. Stand up, please. Stand up. Stand up, stand up, don't. When we can adopt this, then we should also learn how to relate with each other as devotees. Dadati, Prati, Grinati. Yeah, there are. There's something wrong with the cable. Maybe you're sitting on it. There are six processes how to relate with devotees. Yeah, amongst each other. That is, we offer some gifts to devotees. What does it mean? We see what is the necessity, what are the necessities of the devotees. They don't need anything. So if we are able to see how to make devotees happy by giving some little, little gifts, whatever they need. Or yeah. if they are in need of wife, they should give? No. <laughs> if they want wine? If they need some soap, some cloth, something simple we can offer them and they will be so happy. Offering... If Gurudev tells that you should bring a very beautiful girl, should we obey? No. Oh. What should we do? At first. <laughs> Give up Gurudev. <laughs> Bogas Gurudev. Yes. If he is telling that, oh, you should uh, um, make an offense and beat that pure devotee, <laughs> then we should follow? At once we should reject that yeah. Gurudev. Yeah. He is not Gurudev. 
So accepting gifts and uh, offering gifts, uh, this is a very wonderful way of exchange between the devotees. Simple things which we need some toothpaste, some soap, like we were just now in Fiji, and all the devotees received some notepads to write and some soap, so, and by accident <laughs> we received some seeds, but they were returned. <laughs> Sheets. 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 We are inquiring, as is described by Sri Krishna himself in Bhagavad Gita, Tasvidi Paranipatena Pariprashna in Sevaya. We are to inquire from each other about what? Not as Sri Rupa Goswami Pant has explained in the second verse, how to discuss mundane subject matters, how to joke with each other. We are unfortunately yeah, too much involved in these things and that is why we cannot rapidly progress. If we can see what we should discuss with each other is how to progress in bhakti. Harikata, like yesterday, all were coming together and hearing the glories of Nityananda Prabhu. This is coming together and hearing inquiring from each other how to make progress in bhakti and from who we should inquire, from those who are more advanced than us. Yeah. The devotees are very kind and those who are somewhat fixed and realized in the process of devotional service, they are very happy to help those devotees who are feeling some need, those who are less advanced than us. We should always be kind to them and help them. Those who are more advanced, we should be very eager to serve them and to hear from them. And those who are equal, we should always be very friendly and discuss with each other how to progress, how to practice this path of devotional service. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh give each other prasadam and receive prasadam. Like we are coming here, Vidabandha Prabhu and other devotees who are here, Yaruba Prabhu, they have gone out of their way to invite all of us to come here, hear Harikata, which is the real prasadam. But also after Harikata, there is always delicious prasadam which has been offered to the devotees, to all the devotees. And what we can do, we can tell all the devotees, oh, next week please come to Singapore and we invite you, or come to Fiji, or come to Mugulama, like that. Yeah. Philippines. Philippines. <laughs> then, try to honor a real Vaishnava, qualified Vaishnava, bona fide Vaishnava. If he is blind, no harm. If he is lame, no harm. If he is ugly, no harm. If he is rush, uh, but is speaking in harsh language. language, no how. Hmm? If he is qualified by snow, serving Krishna and Guru Dev, all these things may be, but try to honor him. Like in Ganges, we see there are trouble, some fall, to form and also mud, mud. Hmm. But Ganges is always transcendental. So don't be cheated by that thing, that he is ugly, he is black, his teeth are like the, these cards. He is anger, he, he is like Durvasa, no harm, but he should be pure. And then, Krishna is just agreeing, tang manasa Even you should do. Very quickly, meaningfully. Then Srila Rupa Goswami Pai has explained the verse Krishna Tiyasi Gritam Manasadrieta. In this verse, he's saying that if anyone is chanting the name of Krishna, then one should give honor to that person and respect them from the heart, from one's heart. That he is my family man. He is like a member of my own family. In Chaitanya family, right. Then he says that. And if one is initiated by a bona fide guru and is engaged in worshipping the deity, then to such a person one should actually physically with offer... With relation and with 
pure hearted who has given up all kinds of offenses and he has a relation and he has quickly given up all the offenses then he should be done dwandat pranam with body and also by mind third yes and the third category that devotee who is very deeply absorbed and realized in bhajan always remembering the asakala lila shri shri radha and krishna then one should search out the association of such a devotee for such association is very much desirable and attaining that association one should serve them with great faith and devotion give don't differentiate that he is not my god brother he has not initiated by my same guru anywhere in this eh initiated by any god vaishno like shamananda parivar like narottam thakur like nityananda prabhu jannava devi like in vishwanath chakravarti thakur guru anywhere in this world don't differentiate try to honor all these vaishnav in three kinds of vaishnav kanishth vaishnav madhyam adhikari vaishnav and uttam adhikari in this three ways then you can go and if you are thinking that oh he is not my guru brother or oh, don't initiate um, associate with him of oh, big fault hmm? it is big offense. big offense hmm? but if you have no you are following all these thing but no taste any hari katha or in chanting remembering krishna or don't be distracted don't be like continue 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 Mm-hmm. all the chanting and serving vaishnava <coughs> oh by this process a test will come and you will develop your krishna consciousness and then i told tanna amaru kucharita adi the essence of all upadesh that <coughs> by mind and by body you should be in vrindavan being the guidance of any rashi and tattvag vaishnava all the chanting what name govind gopina padam mohan sham sham like aradharaman like जय जय राधा रमन हरि बो जय जय nitai gauranga jaya nitai gauranga 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 so oh, this is the essence of you should not turn all these teachings and gradually you should develop your krishna kesh Krishna, this is called essence. Essence. All the things. You should follow this, and then I will again come, and I will come, and I will give another lesson for you to take. Go. Hari. 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 Their name will be same as before. Who, 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 who Two is girls. it? They should stand up. Stand up, please. They wanted other names. No one is Siddhartha. Who is Siddhartha? Two girls. Is Siddhartha. Who? The series is same. But two girls also this morning. Who are they? Who are they? Your girls. Your girls. Where are they? Shanti oh. and Janavi. Shanti and Janavi. Oh, they they are. Oh, the their name is okay. Who is Siraddhaja? Siraddhaja, will stand up, please. Why you are telling that my name should not be changed? 
then you should automatically initiate it. You should be rely and very firm belief on our Guru Dev. He knows better than you and what name should be given. No, you should try to obey. Then you should try to obey. Sridhvaj is a, um, not a good name. Not a good devotee also. No, he was not devotee. So I want to give you a very pure devotee name. Gaur Pramanam. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Tomorrow, we are unfortunately for all the local authorities who have come here together to hear from Sri Gurudev. We are leaving tomorrow for Singapore. So we will leave tomorrow afternoon, just at the beginning of afternoon, one o'clock. All the families who need to go to the airport, please contact Dina Bhagavad Prabhu for your transportation. It's such a position in my heart that actually you're my life.